Welcome to Crook and Kipe Extra Innings as tonight the Giants took down the dreaded LA Dodgers. Two to one in classic giant torture tonight. In classic giant torture tonight. And Matt Kane had another excellent outing tonight, only allowing two earned runs. Allowing only two earned runs in tonight's game. Unfortunately, Bat Kane had to leave the game early because he got hit in the in the foot by a baseball, and they pulled him for cautionary reasons tonight. So, but all in all, a good performance tonight. The Dodgers were held to four hits and only one run, and that was Derek Law. That was. But this is this is the game we needed. This is the the uh, but also though Matt Kane had a hamstring injury and that were I'm worried to see how long it's gonna take for his hamstring to heal. But that's not good news about his hamstring. But we do have a prospect in the pipeline who can probably come up if if that happens. It would probably be probably the person that would get called up if that happens would be Ty Beatty down in Sacramento. And he's he's looking okay in Sacramento if he if he needs to be called up and it would be interesting to see him make his major league debut if he if Kane's gonna have to miss a start. But overall, I would say, you know, tonight also we had a few call-ups. Christian Arroyo was called up from the Sacramento River Cats, and he he played good defensively at third base. He almost got a double play on a play where it would have been lucky to get one out, and that was good out of that. And, you know, Justin Turner and Corey Seager were only limited to one hit apiece. And, you know, Drew, another call up today was Drew Stubbs as he took the place of Chris Marrero as Marrero has been designated for assignment. And I'm, and I was never sold on Chris Marrero. He was not a good he was just not a good fit, and he was just another journeyman playing for the Giants right now. And it just didn't work out for him. And we'll see if he ends up going back to Sacramento or not, if he decides to try out free agency. But he's just another one of those Brandon Hickses and Justin Maxwells that are just journeymen who – got hot in the in spring training and who didn't pan out and i unfortunately my gut feel my instinct was right on this one and i don't think we're going to be done seeing roster moves be made we'll see how drew stubbs does in the next few weeks he's going to be better for the outfield as in terms of defense and I think with Denard Span maybe heading to the disabled list, fifteen the ten day disabled list in the near future, we're gonna wait to see the progress on Mac Williamson in the coming days and Michael Morse. I think Morse could be 
I, I, I lean towards maybe either Morris or Williamson getting a call up, depending on. On Morris, who's we'll see if though we'll see if Morris or Morris or Mac Williamson get the call up in the next couple days, depending on what happens with the rehab assignments and how progress goes down in Sacramento. But we did have some torture out of Derek Law today. He was not didn't have his best stuff on the mound. He did allow an earned run and gave up the leadoff walk, but did actually did an okay job limiting the damage after that. And we could see another lefty get called up to the Giants within the coming days since they're going to need to bring up another lefty to take the spot of Ty Block. And we'll see how that works out. But all in all, I would say great game by the Giants tonight. They nice to get a win, and you know it's it's only April, so seven and thirteen, not the greatest start, but it's it's only April. Time to recover, and winning cures everything. And hopefully, this I would like to see the Giants win consecutive games tomorrow. But it might be a little tough since Clayton Kershaw is going to be on the mound tomorrow night for the Dodgers. But I liked Hunter Pence in the leadoff spot tonight. He did well. He was two for four out of the leadoff spot. And then Buster Posey was two for four tonight, and his batting average is 340. He's found his bat again. I am happy to see that happening. Brandon Crawford went two for four and starting to hit it up. And and then Turner was picked off by Posey. Posey had a good night in, behind in the squat tonight. Caught got a caught stealing on caught somebody stealing tonight, and then he also picked off Justin Turner to win the game and seal it for the Giants. And yet, this has got to be good for Bochi too. It's, you know, I was seeing, seeing Bochi's speech yesterday. Bochi was just starting to look frustrated, too. And got to do what you got to do to try to get, try to get, a, And the Dodgers have actually not gotten off to a hot start either. They're nine and eleven, and are surprisingly in third place right now. Like maybe a game, barely a game ahead of a game out of fourth place with San Diego in fourth. So you know, it's that feeling that that it's only April feeling is kind of going with the Dodgers too. They they're starting off slow also, so. Kind of works both ways sometimes, and maybe getting these SoCal teams at home the next for the next few days will get the Giants rolling. Hopefully, all right. Let's go around the league with other scores in action tonight. The the Chicago Bears beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. 14-3, to three. your winning quarterback was Brett Anderson, and your losing QB was Chad Cole, and Brett Anderson is starting to turn it around in Chicago, getting his maybe seeing his career revive in Chicago, hopefully, but 
I feel bad for Matt Cool. He did not even get out of the second inning today and allowed nine earned runs in one and two third in two thirds innings pitched. And so and that's not a good day. And Miguel Montero went three for five. Addison Russell went four for six. And Chris Bryant went three for four. Jose Osuna went three for four for the Pirates today. The Orioles beat the Rays six to three. Your winning pitcher was Michael Givens. Your losing pitcher was Chris Archer. And it looks like Brad Brock has been able to be the, the closer by committee right now, the interim closer for the Orioles while the shutdown closer Zach Britton's out on the disabled list. Ubaldo Jimenez left the game early. Yeah. And that's just typical of Ubaldo Ubal, Jimenez, who's just, he has his good in it, outings and his bad outings. And I don't know, Jimenez could be one that's going to maybe be a bullpen pitcher very soon, the way some of these young guns are pitching for Baltimore. And on top of that, we have a suspension to announce from yesterday's game from the Orioles. Matt Barnes, not the basketball Matt Barnes, but Boston Red Sox pitcher Matt Barnes was suspended four games today for throwing at Manny Machado. It'll be interesting to see if he gets, if he decides to appeal his suspension or not. And another suspension to announce is that Sato, Sano was suspended one game for aggressive contact. And he plans to appeal for his participation in the brawl with Detroit the other night. All right, and now the Brewers beat the Reds 11 to 7. Your winning pitcher was Carlos Torres. Your losing pitcher was Amir Garrett. And Garrett did not make it out of the fourth inning today. And three and third in three and a third innings pitch, he allowed nine earned runs. And Matt Garza did not have a great great game either. He was he only survived four innings and was pulled. And this was his first day. This was his first game of the season, so they're still trying to probably get his arm strength up and stuff. So, and the Twins beat the Rangers three to two. Your winning pitcher was Phil Hughes. Your losing pitcher was Martin Perez. And the White Sox clobbered the Royals 12 to 1. And Tim Anderson had a great game going three for five today. Matt Davidson went three for four. Leary Garcia went three for four for the White Sox today. And the and the 
And the Royals were only held to two hits today. And Jason Vargas, he was he looked mortal today, allowing three earned runs and inflating his ERA to 1.40 today. But the bullpen was awful. Peter Moylan in one-third innings pitched allowed five earned runs. Travis Wood allowed three earned runs in two-thirds innings pitched. And Kansas City is a team that's probably heading for the rebuild. I think the rebuild clock's about to hit, and they're going to probably go into sell mode within another month or so. And the Rockies beat the Nationals 8-4. to four. Your winning pitcher was Carlos Estevez. Your losing pitcher was Annie Romero. And Tony Walters uh, went three for four in that series. And Trevor Story starting to approach the Mendoza line after starting off slow to the season. And Anthony Rendon went three for four today. And you know, you know what? I am actually thinking that this co that this Colorado Rockies team is actually the real deal this season. I think they've just needed the right manager in there. And Bud Black has done a good job getting the Rockies pitching to look decent this season. So I, I, I think the, the, the Rockies are here to stay this season, and we're going to have to watch out for them, and so are the Dodgers going to have to be put on notice. I, I don't see the Rockies going away this season. The D-backs beat the Padres 7-6. to six. Your winning pitcher was Zach Granke. Your losing pitcher was Jolis, Jolis Chassin. David Peralta went 3-4 for four in that game. And Young Yervis Solarte went 3-5. Three for four, three for five. And Chastain allowed seven earned runs and six innings pitched. And Silvino Bracco allowed three earned runs and one inning, one inning and a third one third innings pitched. And the Angels beat the Blue Jays two to one. Your winning pitcher was Jesse Chavez. Your losing pitcher was Francisco Liriano. And Liriano didn't do too bad. And Russell Martin went two for three at the plate today. And, you know, Toronto's another team that needs to have a good May. Or Toronto could be a prime position to be in sell mode if things don't turn around by May. Let's go down on the farm and see what happened with the River Cats tonight. And the River Cats uh, lost to the 51s tonight, 7-6. to six. Kyle Crick was your losing pitcher. And your winning pitcher was Ben Rowan. Kyle Crick allowed two earned runs and one and two-thirds innings pitched. And Ty Beatty allowed three earned runs and four and a third innings pitched. And they need to maybe start look, working on getting some arm strength up on Ty B in the events he's going to have to be called up to fill in for Matt Kane in his next start. 
And later this week, the Sacramento River Cats play. And tomorrow they finish off against the 51s before heading on the road to Tacoma to play the Rainiers. That'll be your River Cat schedule for this week. And tonight in NBA playoff action. The Raptors route whipped the bucks tonight 118 to 93 to take a 3-2 series lead the hawks beat the wizards 111 to 101 and the and your golden state warriors finished the sweep against the portland trailblazers 128 to 103 and steph curry was just shooting the lights out tonight for the warriors and this is going to turn into a win. This champ might be a try to win this championship for Kerr type deal to this for this playoffs for the for the Warriors. And you know, Steve Kerr coming back next season is is really an uncertainty next year with the, his back issues and stuff. It wouldn't surprise me if he's forced to retire at the after this season. And man, it's kind of sad to see having to see Kerr leave like this from the Warriors. But it was a but for what he did for the Golden State Warriors is great, and bringing a championship to the, to the Bay Area and what he did from that was good and. And it's going to be very hard to try to find a, a permanent replacement for Steve Kerr if he is forced to step down due to his back issues. You maybe go with Mike Brown for one season. Or do you maybe try to bring back Mark Jackson? There's no really good answer. And it's going to be hard. It's going to be a hard but their next focus is going to be on waiting, waiting out for the winner between the Clippers and the Jazz in the coming days. Well, thank you guys for tuning in tonight. Have a good Monday night. Together we're giant. I will see you tomorrow night.